Hey, how's it going? And today I wanted to show you how to record in-game audio with the take recorder. And this is something I'm still experimenting with. So if I find there's a better way to do it or there's something more to it, I'll post a update to this video. But just to get you started with it and to show you that it's possible, I'm going to right click and go to blueprint class and we'll go to actor and I'll just call this BP. Oops. BP underscore audio and we'll double click into this and I'll just dock this real fast and we're going to search for an audio component right there and then we're just going to find a existing wave file this one called starter music that's kind of long so I'll grab that one and there it is and this is on autoplay so it should just play as soon as you drag it into the scene. So drag it in like that. And if I hit play. Okay, so now can we record this with the take recorder? Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up to Windows, Cinematics, Take Recorder. And we're going to search for the source. And the source, well, that's going to be our BP audio player right there. Now, I talked about this in a video I just did. And look how many properties it's recorded on 10 and 2 components. So if we come down here and we start looking at them, interestingly, there's a default. Here's the audio recorded properties. And it just has these three tracks. Well, visibility track seems interesting to me. I don't know 100% what's going on with that like the visibility of audio that doesn't even seem like it goes together the visibility of the audio so i'm wondering if that is the audio i don't know but if i find out i'll let you know but it's recording something obviously so we're going to leave all those checked and then what we're going to do is we're simply going to hit play Okay, then we'll go to the content browser, we'll go into cinematics, we'll click in here, we'll click in here, and here's where things get interesting, because you click in here, and if you hit play, you don't hear anything, and this is just like a video I just did where we did the same thing with animated object that we filmed, and we couldn't see anything here, but when we went to record it, it was there, it was recorded, so it's a little tricky, and I'm not sure why we can't see or hear anything. But something I did discover is that if we click here, you have to unlock it. It's wanting me to select the... Oh, here we go, sorry. So I double clicked. Okay. So if we come here and we click and we open this up and we double click on this audio track here you'll see we got this plus sign and if we open it up you'll see there's an option for sound and then go ahead and select that one and then it has our music file right there you see that so that was the file that we chose so the first time I tried this and I didn't open this up and check this add this the recorded file was only like a second long so I'm advising to go ahead and add this soundtrack. And then here's the interesting thing. We're going to come up here and go capture movie, right? But before we do, you'll see up here where it says audio output format. Click it and choose this master audio submix. And I think you can leave everything else on the default. And then we just go capture movie. Don't save it. Yeah, it stopped. So now if I go open capture folder, it's going to take me into where it's stored in my project folder. And you'll see there's a WAV file and an AVI file. 
And if I open this up, 